You guys have been asking me to do a video on fragrances that are perfect to wear in the hottest, most muggiest, humid climates around. And after spending almost a month in Europe where it got really, really hot, especially in Italy, I felt like it was time to put this video together. So in today's video, I've got 16 fragrances that are ice cold, perfect for the hottest climates, the most humid, most muggiest temperatures ever. So find out what they are coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yesterday we're talking about ice cold fragrances, perfect for warm, humid climates. If you live in these kind of uh, places, these are going to be perfect for you. And you know what? I was focusing on notes that I feel like are ice cold. Uh, some of the fragrances you're going to see today will feature prominently juniper. Juniper, I feel like, is perfect for ice cold, metallic, sharp kind of fragrances. And also ozonic notes, violet leaves or cucumbers. Those are kind of uh, cooling kind of fragrances that are perfect in this kind of a uh, uh, environment or you know humid uh, temperatures so I've got 16 fragrances as I said and I also have a bonus fragrance all coming right up but before I get to the fragrances if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you haven't subscribed please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways so do you have a fragrance that you wear when it's extremely hot outside really 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 hot you know I live in San Francisco and California and the West Coast is pretty dry. We don't get a lot of humidity and especially San Francisco we have uh, these kind of microclimates that it kind of heats up and then it gets really cold really fast. So I don't really experience this humid weather but when I was in Italy and also in France it was so hot. Mostly in Italy though. But man it was extremely extremely hot and I feel like man I need something really, really cooling and I feel like these are going to be perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the fragrance from the house of Maitre Parfumeur at Gantier. They're known for Ombre Perso, but this is definitely one of those fragrances that's very, very cooling. This is Garrigue, this one right here, G-A-R-R-I-G-U-E. It's a, probably an underrated fragrance from this house. As I said, most people know it. Uh, this house for Ombre Perso. They've got a third amber coming out very soon, I discovered recently. But this one features notes of rosemary, juniper berries, sage, thyme, bergamot, lemon, musk, and sandalwood. So definitely there's this crisp cooling effect here especially because it features these juniper berries. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever drink gin, gin tonics and things like that. It's a very refreshing and cooling drink and that's the kind of experience I get from juniper berries. It gets sharp and metallic as well but ice cold and that's the kind of fragrance this is. Sometimes also herbal aromatics create this kind of a sharpness and cooling kind of an experience. So this one also has the aromatics and citruses together as well for a great cooling experience. So Garig is the first fragrance at number 16. Moving on on to the house of a corner Barcelona this is a salado this one right here and this one to me features not only cucumbers but also there's kind of an ozonic touch running throughout the fragrance and you get this ozonic experience from cucumbers so it's very very prominent with the cucumbers and there's also the saltiness here as well so it's cucumbers sea salt Petagran, bergamot, orange blossom, musk, woods, and pink pepper. So everybody knows cucumbers have a cooling effect. It's a great vegetable, I guess, to eat in the summertime when you're feeling hot. You know, you, you can make a cucumber salad and things like that. And obviously this is called salado. There's a kind of a salady effect there. It's a great scent. Very, very unique and very, very cooling for really, really hot temperatures. So salado from the house of Connor Barcelona is number 15. Moving on to a house I haven't spoken about on the channel. It's Maison Matine. It's lost in translation. So this is a very unique and cooling kind of a fragrance and it features violet leaves. So there's this kind of green ozonic quality running throughout it. But they have a note in here called Clean Accord, meaning it's a clean fragrance. And clean and ice cold all kind of go hand in hand. Definitely creates a kind of a cooling effect. But this uh, fragrance, in addition to the Clean Accord and the violet leaves, there's juniper berries. Another note that's associated with ice cold for me along with rosewood, white tea, black pepper and dry woods. So there's some spice there and there's some woodiness there as well with a little bit of citrusy touch but the rest of the notes are kind of very very ice cold perfect for a very very hot temperature wear. So Maison Matine lost in translation and if you don't know these uh, fragrances from this house they have these really really unique art uh, artwork on the back of their bottles so uh, priced really uh, nicely as well so it's kind of a, a niche house uh, with 
uh, affordable fragrances. So Maison Martin, uh, lost in translation, at number 14. So moving on to the House of Art de Parfum, this is Gin and Tonic Cologne, another one, Gin and Tonics I was just mentioning, very, very cooling, very, very ice cold. It's a drink that I like to drink sometimes and it's very refreshing if you want a little bit of like booziness and then you got the tonic in there, a little bit of cucumbers perhaps, things like that. It's perfect, perfect, very, very refreshing and cooling in the summertime. And I think that, you know, the fragrances inspired by this drink is also very, very cooling. So juniper berries here with gin, grapefruit, cucumbers, lemon zest, white musk, cedar and ambergris. So there's some light woods here, definitely the white musk, very, very clean. Ambergris is in here to give it a little bit of an, you know, lightly marine animalic quality to the fragrance, but it's all very sharp, crisp, clean fragrance experience with the juniper berries and the gin along with kind of zing added to it with the grapefruit and the lemon zest but the you know you've got that cucumber in here as well to kind of give it an ozonic touch uh, it's pretty sharp it's pretty cooling uh, i think it's perfect for summertime so gin and tonic cologne from the house of uh, art de parfum at number 13. moving on to the house of bentley it's bentley for men silver lake this one right here this is also a very clean crisp cooling um uh, you know, uh, refreshing fragrance experience. And this is for men. And I forgot to mention earlier, the f whole list is mostly unisex. There are a few male targeted fragrances, but I think if you're confident as a woman, you can pull these ones off. This is a very, very ice cold fragrance. It's obviously called Silver Lake. So silver, I associate with cool and crisp as well. So it's a lemon, mint, amber wood, violet leaves, lavender, and white musk. Very, very sharp and metallic and ice cold, perfect for a hot day, muggy, day. So it's Silver Lake from the house of uh, uh, Bentley. Uh, I believe it's called Bentley for Men Silver Lake or it might just be Silver Lake. But moving on to the house of Atelier Oblique, it's Marble Sea. Another one that's ice cold. Makes sense. Marble Sea. Marble's definitely got this ice cold in, coldness about it and then the sea obviously is cold. So this one definitely ex you experience that kind of an experience here. And it features notes of ozonic notes, mint, bergamot, woodsy notes, green notes, musk, jasmine, rose, vanilla, and iris. So eventually it gets a little powdery and it warms up a little bit and there's some floral touches but the experience is very very ice cold. It's clean, it's crisp, it's ozonic and it's aromatic and herbal as well with citruses and woods. Marble Sea from the House of Atelier Oblique. It's a great fragrance if you don't know it. Do check that one out. Moving on to the House of uh, Aqua di Parma and even though they have a juniper focused fragrance, I don't own it. This one definitely has a very cool cooling effect as well. And it does feature juniper, but it's not the prominent note. The prominent note in this one is myrtle, myrtle flower, or for me, it's like an herb slash um, aromatic and uh, flo floral note. So this is Myrto de Panarea with myrtle note, marine notes, juniper berries, lemons, bergamot, basil, cedar, mastic resin, jasmine, and rose. This is created by Francois de Maché. I guess this was uh, created before he moved on to Dior. And he did a great job with this one. I really do enjoy it. And it definitely has this kind of herbal floral characteristic, but cooling as well. It's got this kind of crispness, ice coldiness, and you know, a little bit of that kind of marine layer that comes in. It gives it a little marine vibe. It's interesting because I grew up, when I was a little kid, we lived in the Middle East in Lebanon, and we had a, a rooftop garden, and we had these myrtle plants there. And I really loved the way them uh, they smelled. I, I, I love the way myrtle flowers smell. And it's definitely perfectly captured here, along with that kind of ice coldiness and uh, the little bit of that marine touch. So it's Mirto de Panarea from the house of uh, Aqua de Parma at number 10. So moving on to number 9, we're going to the house of essential parfums. This is Mon Vetiver, this one right here. And this is a vetiver fragrance, but it features gin accord, so it's ice cold here. Also features juniper berries, so the combination is very, very ice cold for a vetiver, which is kind of an earthy, woody experience. And it's a great fragrance. It's a vetiver fragrance you can wear easily because it has this kind of clean icy coldness from the gin accord and of course the juniper berry as well but there's also some citruses in here of lime so vetiver gin accord mexican lime juniper berries lavender gentian cashmere wood indonesian patchouli the combination is great it's refreshing it's cooling it's ice cold and perfect for a hot summer day if you want a little bit of a change of pace with your fresh fragrances you know you add a little earthy woodiness here and this kind of ice coldness from the gin and 
and Juniper in here. So Essential Parfums Mon Vetiver at number nine. Moving on to the house of Nishane. I've got two fragrances from Nishane in this list. This is Ege, this one right here. And this was a fragrance that I actually didn't care for at first, but I started really enjoying it. It's funny because uh, I kind of uh, judge pretty quickly with marine type fragrances and they've been growing on me lately and I've been enjoying them. Uh, and I think this is kind of one of those fragrances where it was a little too marine for me at once, but now I really like the way it smells, especially once I started figuring out that it's ozonic notes. So it's crisp, clean, ice cold, fresh, very invigorating kind of notes together to create this fragrance. But it features ozonic notes, mint, yuzu, anise, basil, cardamom, licorice, and olibanum. It's a perfectly ice cold fragrance to wear in the summertime when it's extremely hot outside and it refreshes you and cools you off. So Nishan Ege at number eight, or Nishane, I should say. Uh, the next fragrance, moving on to the House of Juice Box. This is Feel and Chill, or Feel and Chill. Makes perfect sense with this particular fragrance. It's definitely very, very ice cold. And this one, uh, I think there's definitely ozonic notes here, but they're claiming that watermelon. And I do get the fruitiness of the watermelon here. And for me, watermelon has a kind of a marine slash ozonic quality to begin with. So it creates a very, very ice cold experience. But it also has the fig leaves, kind of earthy, bitter green, uh, along with the watermelon and the coconut water, bergamot, vetiver, and musk. It's a very, very very refreshing fragrance with a little sweetness. The watermelon adds this kind of fruity sweetness to the mix and it's a very very cooling experience. So it's Feel and Chill from the house of uh, Juice Box and that's at number seven. It's funny, when I was putting this video together and I was pulling these fragrances, turns out a lot of the uh, bottles are blue, so they have a blue theme. Uh, it makes sense, kind of blue, cold, kind of ice cold, kind of go hand in hand, doesn't it? And speaking of blue, once again, it's a, a fragrance from the house of Eight and Bob. It's Cap de Antibes, another blue bottle. And here we have violet leaves. It's ice cold with the violet leaves, crisp and clean, with birchwood, mint, cedar, incense, green aromatic notes, cinnamon, moss, vanilla. This one, I, I should say, it's kind of has a warmth to it, so it might not be as ice cold, but I feel like there's a lot of violet leaves in this to create the kind of like frosty experience. But double check to make sure that this is kind of acting very, very ice cold to you. It does to me, but sometimes it might come off that you know, you're picking up the vanilla and the cinnamon and it might be a little warm. But to me, it's very, very frosty, clean, a fresh experience, but eventually it settles to kind of warmth in the base when it's drying down. But the violet leaves are very, very crisp and clean to me. So this is Eight and Bob cut the Antibes at number six. Moving on to uh, the second and last male targeted release, going to the house of Hermes. It's Terre de Hermes Eau Givre. And I remember saying in my review for this, this is a frosty, ice cold fragrance experience. Makes sense. Juniper Berry is in here. And anytime I see Juniper Berry, it has this cold, crispness, kind of sharp, metallic experience. And, you know, very, very kind of like clean and cold steel kind of an experience. This is Citron. It's a lemony kind of a note. Juniper berries, Timut pepper, but also uncredited notes. I would get some woods here, minerals and metallics. So definitely there's a crispness about it, a clean, frosty, ice cold experience, and definitely one that is perfect in the heat. You can liberally spray the stuff and cools you off against that kind of very, very overwhelming humid heat out there. So it's Terre de Hermes uh, Eau Givre from the house of Hermes at number five. Moving on to the house of Parfums de Marly. This is Percival. Percival, another blue bottle. Um, this is a kind of uh, aromatic and uh, green, but also very, very ice cold. And I don't know what's creating kind of metallic, clean crispness here, but I think it's the combination of the aromatics with some citruses perhaps in here that are creating this kind of like metallic experience. But there's lots of lavender and bergamot here along with mandarin and geranium. Geranium and lavender together create a very, very metallic experience when they're against a lot of citruses. But you also have some pink pepper, cardamom, balsam fir, woods, and spices. So this is Parfums of Marley's, Marley's take on their kind of blue fragrances. Uh, I think that's what it is. Uh, it's a little bit like Aventus, a little bit like Blue de Chanel and Sauvage and all those kind of put together. But it's very, very robust and intense and very, very clean and crisp, ice cold experience. So Percival from the house of Parfums of Marley at number four. All right, moving on to number three, it's Mise en latest release, Blue Gin 
perfect uh, fragrance. This is so sharp and metallic. It's very, very ice cold and very, very cooling. Features notes of juniper berry, mandarin orange, Sichuan pepper, black pepper, cascalone for a fresh aquatic experience, iron, setalox, like an ambroxan type of a note, along with tonka beans and cardamom. It's very, very invigorating and inspired by gin and tonic from what I've read, and it actually makes sense. This is very, very cooling, very, very ice cold. In fact, to me, it's very, very sharp and metallic as well, and it'll do the trick to cut through that humid heat out there. So if you want this kind of a uber ice cold freshness, definitely try Blue Gin from the house of Maison Cire. Definitely does the trick. I think it, it really does. It's really, really intense uh, with its ice coldiness. This is actually, uh, this next one at number two is not necessarily featuring any notes that do have uh, anything like a juniper and things like that or, or um, azonic notes, but to me it's very, very ice cold. It's Nishanese Hachivat. A uh, very, very ice cold experience with pineapple, oak moss, grapefruit, bergamot, woods, cedar, patchouli, and jasmine. It actually does the trick in the heat. It, you know, refreshes, it's cooling, it's invigorating, plus, you know, it's got this icy sharpness that I think in the heat just kind of does the trick with cooling you off and, you know, making you feel like a, a little rested because, you know, hu humidity and heat kind of exhausts me. I, I just remember being in it for many days while I was in Italy in France and I, I was craving some really, really ice cold fragrances. Not only to drink water or drink or something, but to, you know, you know, uh, refresh myself with it. And uh, this is definitely a type of a fragrance that does the trick. It's Nishanese Hachivat at number two. And the last fragrance at number one, going to the house of Maison Francis Kirkjian, it's Gentle Fluidity Silver. Once again, very, very ice cold fragrance, but also great, great smelling fragrance. Very, very sexy. And all these fragrances, the majority of them should have have a really nice trail in the heat outside so you should definitely be happy with that kind of an experience here and this one definitely doesn't disappoint I had dismissed this fragrance as well at first I preferred the gold gentle fluidity but I've come full circle with this one and really really enjoyed this particular fragrance and I love it I love the way it smells off of me and it's got this ice coldness as well frosty sharp experience lots of juniper berries here woods musk coriander nutmeg amber wood and vanilla definitely maybe there's some ambroxan type of an experience here in, in here as well like maybe the note is added here it's not credited but i, I kind of get this kind of muskiness as well but it's uber sharp uber fresh ice cold experience it's a uh, maison francis kirkjian's gentle fluidity silver at number one these are really really great cooling fragrances guys if you're in really really hot climates definitely check them out buy some samples sample in stores to test them out to see if they work for you but i really think they will do the trick for cooling you off in the heat of the summer anyway those are my thoughts today on these fragrances top 16 ice cold fragrances to wear when it's really really hot outside what are your thoughts on these fragrances and do you have any other favorite fragrances that are ice cold for the summertime during the heat let me know uh, i'm definitely looking for juniper berries you know gin uh ozonic notes like uh cucumbers and uh violet leaves and things like that if you know of any let me know put a comment down so i can find out either way guys thanks so much for watching watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. All right, I've got one more bonus fragrance for you guys. This is from a house, I don't know what happened to them, but they were selling at Lucky Scent for a while. They were all the hype and the rage, and then all of a sudden I don't see anything about them, but I did notice that the fragrance is still selling off of their website. This is Pana London's Icy Citrus. I have a full review of this one. You can go catch it. And uh, definitely at the time I was wearing this one a lot, and I have a lot more to say about it. But this is Icy Citrus, and there's some kind of an ingredient in here. When you put it on, it kind of like pulsates on on you and you can feel these kind of like sh uh, ice cold almost like mentholatum or like something minty eucalyptus but you can feel its ice kind of like hitting your skin it's very interesting what they've done with this particular fragrance and what the notes are but uh, it cools you off perfectly and i thought i'd highlight it but they credit citruses spices woodsy notes and vanilla for the notes so eventually it does get a little vanillic and sweet it does have kind of a bit of a medicinal touch to it when you smell the fragrance uh, but definitely has this kind of cooling uh, ice cold uh, experience so i'm highlighting it here in this 
video as a bonus fragrance. It's Icy Citrus from the House of Pana London as the bonus fragrance. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned for another video soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.